हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द केयर प्लान ऑन हाइपर टेंशन ओके सो दिस केयर प्लान इज़ फॉर कम्युनिटी हेल्थ नर्सिंग आल्सो यू ऑल कैन राइट फॉर मेडिकल सर्जिकल नर्सिंग ओके सो सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मेंशन द बेसलाइन डेटा ऑफ फैमिली वेर इन वी हैव टू राइट द नेम ऑफ द फैमिली दैन टाइप ऑफ फैमिली इट इज न्यूक्लियर और जॉइंट फैमिली दैन टोटल नंबर ऑफ फैमिली मेम्बर्स हाउ मैनी आर देर religion the language they know their main occupation okay then we have to mention the family profile in this um, i'll have to write the name of the family member what is the relation the age their education marital status then the occupation now you'll have to mention the health status whether they are healthy or they have any uh, disease condition okay and whether they have any health related habits like smoking alcoholism tobacco so everything will come in this so so you see my patient is having hypertension okay next comes the family genogram whether you uh, where you all have to draw the three generations then your comes the housing condition so you all have to mention the type of house whether it is pakka house kacha house then whether it is well ventilated or not then there is proper lighting proper water supply then how the kitchen is then whether there is proper electricity supply then how the drainage uh, system is okay whether there is water stagnation around the houses surrounding um uh, you have to mention how is the surrounding is it is clean or unclean okay so everything will come under this then you will have to draw the floor map of the house okay so you have given the keys in the same way you all have to draw then comes the socio economic status okay then is the sociogram so you all have to mention how the client's relationship is with others okay so everything will come in this so if the patient is having mutual relationship you all have to draw the two arrows in this way when, when there is no relation you all have to draw two lines and then cross it and in strong relation you all have to draw this three lines okay next come the family history then is the family health believes whether they believe in ayurveda allopathy or homeopathy you'll have to mention that then comes the personal history then comes the past medical history so in past medical history you'll have to mention whether the person suffers suffered from any disease condition earlier okay then comes the past surgical history then is the present medical history so here you'll have to mention now what condition the person is suffering from 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 and what kind of medication he is on okay so see i or i have mentioned the patient is suffering from hypertension and he is on tablet ecosprin 150 mg which it takes once a day okay then is the present surgical history and then comes the nutritional history next is the physical examination where you will have to do the head to to foot head to foot assessment so see everything i have mentioned you all can go through this okay so head and face then eyes how the eyes are whether they are in use of any spectacles i'll have to mention everything then ear then nostrils then mouth and pharynx okay neck chest abdomen and then comes the extremities next you'll have to mention the vital signs okay temperature pulse respiration blood pressure and also you'll have to mention the inferences okay next all i have to write what all the problems you identified okay and according to that diagnosis has to be framed so your uh, the problems that were identified were hypertension okay and family for family it was identified risk for infection risk for malaria and risk for dog fight now this risk for family no when you are writing the housing condition according to that it will come okay so the nursing diagnosis for the hypertension are decreased cardiac output knowledge deficit then activity intolerance then comes the risk for infection and risk for malaria okay so three actually i'll have to mention see three actually i'll have to mention and these two are potential diagnosis okay so next year i have explained uh, the nursing diagnosis okay so first is for decreased cardiac output you all can go through this the same thing you all have to copy okay so when you all are mentioning mentioning the uh, this monitor the vital signs you all have to mention what in interventions in implementation you all have to mention what vital signs you got okay that will come 
सो नेक्स्ट डायग्नोसिस इज फॉर नॉलेज डेफिसिट ओके देन नेक्स्ट इज फॉर रिस्क फॉर मलेरिया रिलेटेड टू स्टेगनेशन ऑफ वॉटी अराउंड दी हाउसेज ओके नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट दी वॉट हेल्थ एजुकेशन यू गिव टू फैमिली ओके सो यू हैव टू राइट टाइप like it was planned or it was incidental so if it was planned what were the avids you all used then the members how how many members attended your health talk everything will come okay so and one health talk you'll have to explain like i explain for hypertension okay so the first come the general objective then is a specific objective remember whenever you are writing first letter first um, alphabet of the specific objective it should always be in small so next we have written meaning of hypertension then what are the food to be consumed on hypertension what foods are to be avoided so remember for hypertension we always have to mention about the dash diet okay so it is mentioned here about the dash diet okay so next is the summary so for bibliography you all can refer my other videos in that i have mentioned bibliography okay thank you